please do stick around for an inside look at the year's biggest art show, Da Vinci at the Louvre. But first, tonight's Brief But Spectacular brings us some laughs. Scott Aukerman helped to launch one of the Internet's most popular talk show spoofs between two ferns. A reminder, don't take much of what Aukerman says here too seriously. His story is part of our ongoing Canvas coverage of arts and culture. This is for PBS? Yes. Ah, my people. Between Two Ferns started when I was doing a television pilot. It was a really funny sketch show with a bunch of different people, and I asked Zach if he could do a small piece on it. And he said, you know, I've always wanted to do a, a public access talk show called Between Two Ferns. You know, when you do public access, basically you have just a black background. I'm not sure what this background is. Oh, you have a brick one here. It's slightly nicer, 10%. Whoa, are these ferns? I don't know that they're ferns. The TV show ended up not going forward, so just as an afterthought, a couple of months later, we put it on a new website called Funny or Die, and then millions and millions of people watched it, and then celebrities kept calling us up, asking if they could do it. My guest today is Justin Bieber. Was it really upsetting in Star Wars that you didn't have more scenes with Chewbacca? Does it make you sick when you look in the mirror to see how handsome you are and to know that people are disfigured? Actor, writer, comedian, producer. Which of Larry David's skills do you admire the most? President Obama was someone that we wanted to land on Between Two Ferns. We just thought it was the funniest idea. I have to know, what is it like to be the last black president? Seriously? What's it like for this to be the last time you ever talk to a president? We did shoot it at the White House, and I wanted to prove that it was at the White House. Uh, don't touch that, please. I actually love the experience of doing the Hillary Clinton one way more because we shot for over an hour and just laughed a lot. And with Obama, it was all business. Five minutes after he walked in the room, they whispered to me, the president has to go. <laughs> I think that people deserve to know. Are you down with TPP? Uh, I'm not down with TPP. No, you're supposed to say, yeah, you know me. Like the hip hop group. Don't tell me what to say. When I first started, Comedy Bang Bang, I think I was trying to do a very serious, but funny, lighthearted interview show. But uh, now when you listen to the show, I'm basically just doing a joke interview. Gary! Yeah? What do you have in your pocket there? Oh, it's a little communicator. It looks to me like Listerine breath like, strips, but it's a communicator. Of course, I disguise it to look like that. <laughs> oh, okay. You've hey guys, smart, uh, call off the everywhere. attack on the earth. <laughs> oh! I'm essentially playing kind of a buffoon who doesn't really care about the answer, much like yourselves, presumably. I don't know whether that's because that's my real feelings about when I'm talking to people or, or uh, whether I just think it's more entertaining, but uh, I do think it's more entertaining. My name is Scott Ackerman, and this is my brief but spectacular take on my life in comedy. You've got to love it, and you can find more episodes of our Brief But Spectacular series at pbs.org newshour brief.